Hello and welcome. In this video, I just want to look at some physics uh, formulae. And uh, I think mainly I'll look at uh, some constants, which uh, you need to be aware of when you study physics, especially at A level, but uh, also at GCSE O level, you do meet this formula. So I've got my PDF uh, file in Evernote, which I'm going to uh, present by clicking on this presentation tool. That's going to bring me up to uh, the presentation mode and I can use uh, a pointer uh, as I do the presentation. Okay, so I'll click on that and what comes up is the presentation mode of the physics uh, formulae, physics um, values, um, particle physics waves, um, you also have properties of leptons, photons and energy levels, gravitational fields and electricity, circular motion, electric fields and capacitors, simple harmonic motion, thermal physics, magnetic fields, astrophysics, nuclear physics, medical physics, there's quite a lot, engineering physics, turning points, electronics, okay, so be looking at these in separate videos, but today I just want to focus on the very first page. Okay. Um, this is for use in the from June 2017 series onwards in the UK. So we've got the data, fundamental constants, and values. Okay. So the first one is the speed of light in vacuum. That means the speed of light in a vacuum okay which is different from the speed of light elsewhere where there is not a vacuum so this is an approximation value which we use in calculations we use the speed of light in a vacuum okay and the symbol for the speed of light is c the value is 3.00 times 10 to the power 8 and the unit is meters per second squared Sorry, just meters per second. It's not per second squared, it's not acceleration, it's just speed. Okay. Permeability of free space is mu uh, sub zero, which is 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7 h per meter. Okay. Then permittivity of free space is epsilon. Sub zero, which is 8.85 times 10 to the power minus 12 uh, f meter meter, and the magnitude of the charge of an electron, the symbol is e, small letter e. It's important that um, we, use, we use small letter e because the big letter e, for example, stands for energy. Okay, so, okay, so there's, a there's a difference between it's very, it's very important that if it's a small letter, you need to use a small letter. H, H for example, the, the, that one is, that one is from the Planck's constant, the other one is H. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 I sure the permeability is face to face. So the magnitude of the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 kilo kilo. It's a C, it's a simple letter C. C. For the speed of light, light, vacuum, vacuum, and then you get C, C, which is a unit, unit, unit that's a symbol, symbol, and that's a message. Okay, okay, I'm trying to comment on small letter H. 6.6 is between 4 minus 34 for dual seconds. Okay, 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 okay. The S is a small, small letter, small letter J, J, is a capital. capital. The gravitational constant, capital G, 6.677. Times ten to the power minus eleven. This one is a neutron. Uh, uh, square meters per kg squared. Then the Avogadro constant is n n with the a which is a little bit at the bottom of the n. Okay. And it's six point zero two times ten to the power twenty three per mole. Okay. And we'll be looking at each of these in separate videos. Uh, to talk about exactly what they mean 
Uh, the molar gas constant capital R okay, is 8.31 joules per Kelvin per mole. The Boltzmann constant, small letter k, as the symbol, the value 1.38 times 10 to the power minus 23. And this one is joules per Kelvin. Stefan constant, 5.67 times 10 to the power minus 8. Weber per square meter per Kelvin to the minus 4. The YN constant is alpha 2.90 times 10 to the power minus 3. Um, meters Kelvin. Electron rest mass equivalent to 5.5 times 10 to the power minus 4 units. Mass of electron, that's the rest mass, not the traveling mass, the rest mass. 9.11 times 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. Okay, that's very small. Electron charge mass ratio. So the ratio of the electron charge, which is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19, to the mass of the electron, which is uh, 9.11 times 10 to the power minus 31, okay, will give you 1.76 times 10 to the power 11. Uh, this must be the charge, so it's Coulomb per kg. The proton rest mass is 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 27, uh, but for the electron, it's to the power minus 31, okay? This one is minus 27 kilograms, so this is a little bit heavier than the electron, okay? And uh, because most of the electron is made up of uh, the greater masses, electrons moving around the nucleus, so basically, we are made up of empty space, okay? If that makes sense, maybe it will, okay, sometime. So the proton rest mass is equivalent to 1.00728 units. And the proton charge mass, the same thing we've done with the electron, we're doing with the proton, and it's 9.58 times 10 to the power 7 coulomb per kg. Coulomb per kg. Okay, then the neutron rest mass is 1.67 times to the minus 27. It's just about the same as the protons. So neutrons and protons, same. So we expect 981. Uh, 981. Uh, that's the gravitational field strength. But, so we haven't done the ratio. I was, I was thinking if there's a ratio then it was going to be this about the same as that okay gravitational field strength g acceleration due to gravity g uh, so the the symbols are the same the value is the same the difference is in the units for acceleration due to gravity we use meters per second squared and for gravitational field strength we use newtons per kilogram Okay, um, atomic mass unit, one atomic mass unit, or one U, is equivalent to 931.5 mega electron volts. The symbol is a U for unit, and 1.661 times 10 to the power minus 27 is the magnitude. And the kilogram is the unit that is used. Okay, so I just wanted to go through just the quantities, uh, what the symbols are, uh, the values and the units. And most of these, like this is a formula uh, booklet anyway, so you don't really need to uh, memorize them. Um, you can just um, use them, uh, use this data booklet uh, during uh, you when you're making any calculations or during the exam Okay, so we've come to the end of this and who next I'll be looking at uh, some of these sections for example um, I'll be looking at geometric equations waves particle physics uh, and the rest and the rest and the rest okay, so we're going to come to the end of this one and then we I can always come back uh, and show you the next uh, video.
Bye.